They were doing tug of war with my face. Joshua and Jenny were attacked by family dogs. They were physically eating me. They were left with life-changing and catastrophic injuries. A weekend at her grandmother's for her 11th birthday left Jenny fighting for her life. My grandmother was on her computer. I just happened to hear my grandmother say, Jenny, can you let the dogs outside? Jenny's gran, a dog breeder, owned nine bull mastiffs. My grandfather was watching the football game and my sister was in the living room. I took five of the adult dogs outside and three puppies. She tried to separate the male and female dogs, but could not. That is when all hell broke loose. Olga, she stared me right in the eyes and she began to challenge me, barking and growling at me and I put my hand out to try to calm her. And what would follow next was like a horror movie. I slowly tried to walk, and that's when the other dog grabbed me and began to pull me in circles. The frenzied attack continued as no one heard Jenny's desperate screams for help. I started to scream, Olka, Olka. She just came up to me and she bit me. She locked her jaw and I couldn't breathe anymore. Jenny's grandparents eventually came to the rescue and she was rushed to hospital. I had massive tears on my body. I had puncture wounds throughout my body. I had to have a skin grafting repair. Jenny's recovery took a long time and she had to learn how to walk again. The scars left behind were both physical and emotional. So my biggest thing after my attack was my appearance. I was so self-conscious about my scars. Jenny eventually learned to love her body and decided she wasn't going to hide away anymore. I think when I finally started to accept my scars, over time I got more comfortable with it. Joshua's family raised pit bulls. She was really loving. You sleep in a bed with me. If my parents would yell at me, she would bark at them. Money was tight. So Joshua's dad introduced a dog outside of the family tree to breed and sell puppies. The new dog was initially aggressive, but seemed to be settling down until the day that would change Joshua's life forever. When I was eight years old, this particular day, it snowed. We're coming home from school through the backyard. When I opened the gate, the boy dog tried to leave. I grabbed the boy dog, brought him back into the yard, and as I closed the latch, I slipped on some black ice. The next two minutes would be catastrophic. He went from my face, my skull, my dog was asleep, but when she heard everything, she came and started to try to help. The boy dog tried to pull me into the garage where I knew that I would die. And my dog, Shoop, tried to pull me to the house where she knew where I would be safe. Joshua's face was targeted. I lost 80% of my face. Both of my ears were clean gone. Both of my cheeks were pretty much gone. My veins and muscles are exposed. Most of my lips gone. My entire nose was gone. I wasn't able to talk, walk, eat. I've survived 61 surgeries. I've had a mixture of skin grabs, skin fills, pieces of bones taken from my ribs into my face to give me structure. And each surgery, I looked drastically different. And that was something that was really hard. To he spiraled into a deep depression. I feel like everything was my fault. People in public spitting on me, throwing stuff at me, adults being really, really cruel. Look at that ugly kid. It wasn't until 10 or 11 that I felt like I didn't want to be alive anymore. But he found a way to begin his healing. Art therapy got me through a lot of using art to express how my PTSD was and being able to explain how I felt to others because no one really understood what I was really going through. They would just see me freaking out. After a few months into counseling, my counselor had introduced me to affirmation. She told me that I should tell myself that I'm strong, that I'm powerful, and that I am loved, and that I am capable of having hope even if I don't believe in hope. And that was, that just meant a lot to me. And her listing out what I've survived made me cry. Both Jenny and Joshua survived horrific ordeals, but believe there is hope. Looking yourself in the mirror, that uh, you survived all of those experiences. You're still here. Never finish something in negative, change it into something positive, and watch the world just open up for you. I am seen. Are you?